Okay, here's question 20 on the higher non-calculator paper. This question says, solve the simultaneous equations. Now, you should be familiar and prepared to work this out. There's a set means, set process, set method to do this. Now, one of the first things you do is choose. Choose which of X or Y you're going to get rid of. You want to get rid of one of them first, work out the other. So if we get rid of Y, we'll then work out X. And once we find X, we can use substitution to work out Y. But you need to decide which one you're going to get rid of. And in this case, I'm going to decide to get rid of Y. So I'm going to try to get rid of the Y values. And to do that, I am going to times one equation, right? So I'm going to times the first equation by 3 because the number in front of y is 3 in the second equation so like let's just number them 1 and 2 so i'm going to times equation 1 right by the number in front of y in equation 2 i'm going to times it by 3 and i'm going to work out e times equation 2 i'm going to times equation 2 by the number in front of y in equation 1 so i'm going to times it by 2 okay make sure you see that all right, so here we go. If I times equation 1 by 3, I'm going to get 15x plus times by 3, 6y. And then times 11 by 3, I'm going to get 33. Okay, let's just check that. Timesing everything by 3, 15x plus 6y is equal to 33. We've got that sorted. Question uh, Equation 2, I'm going to times by 2. So I'm going to times everything there by 2. So I'll get 8 x minus 6y is equal to, I'm going to times 18 by 2, and I get 36. Okay, now, at this stage, you stop. All right, what we're going to look at are the signs in front of these. We've got them both the same, but if the signs are the same, take away, if they're opposite, plus. If the signs are the same, take away. If they're opposite, plus. The signs are opposite. So we are going to add. We're going to add these two equations. Add them together. 15 and 8 gives you 23x. Add those two together. Positive 6 and negative 6. They cancel each other out. That gives you 0y. Right, so positive 6y and negative 6y give you 0y. And then add these two together, and that's going to give you 69. 69. Now, the last bit, how many 23s make 69? I'm going to divide 69 by 23. I think you should be able to figure that out by now. That is 3. So I have figured out that x is 3. I need to put that back into one of the equations to work out y. So I'm actually going to use the first equation. The first equation is 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. Okay, I'm going to replace x with 3, so I'll have 5 times 3 plus, plus 2y is equal to 11. Now 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 2y is equal to 11. I need to get rid of that 15. And because that's a positive 15 there, I'm going to take away 15 from this side. And if I just move this up a bit so I can show the full workings. Okay, so 11 take away 15 is minus 4. And I've still got positive 2y on this side. To get rid of that 2, I need to divide by 2. So I'll end up with minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. Two. I've got a result for x, I've got a result for y, and there's a space down at the bottom of the question to put in my answers. And my answer there is x is 3, y is minus 2. So if you want to have a look at the whole solution, right, I put all of that there. Freeze it at this stage or rewind.
Make sure you're really familiar with this. There's a high likelihood of something like this coming in your next exam. Right, make sure you understand it and make sure you could do it.